Let's take a few minutes and talk about why educators should be on Twitter. Obviously, you're busy. There's lots of things you're doing, um, and it's hard to, to keep current with things, and it's hard, and it's always a challenge to keep up with everything you're supposed to do throughout a day. But the, the challenge that I always uh, propose or, or offer to teachers is how can we uh, not be lifelong learners and not be modeling that for our students? And I know you guys do that in a lot of different ways already, uh, but think of Twitter as just another opportunity to to connect with people with similar interests and similar ideas, uh, and also people with different ideas that you might be able to learn and grow from. So I've picked a few articles here just to kind of go through and, and discuss why some other people have said Twitter is important. For me, Twitter is, is purely a professional development and a professional growth measure uh, or opportunity for me. So this image here is just a neat one that kind of shows different ways that it could be used with students and uh, as a professional. But I'm going to go through just four articles here and just touch on some of the reasons why these people have said it. Uh, they mention here that there's over 3 million people on Twitter. This is from the National Education Association. Uh, that's actually over 300 million per month users now. And so again, you're going to hear similar themes among all of these articles, but this one talks about teachers can keep up with the latest trends, news, and happenings in education, as well as communicate with fellow educators. Um, Twitter is going to be populated with information about those people or things you care about, uh, want to learn from, or want to know about. Uh, you can take it inside the classroom and do different activities with it that brings uh, social media to your students in, in creative ways. Uh, Twitter is a great way to keep your students thinking after class, uh, facilitate a discussion or collaboration between students in their classrooms uh, and their counterparts from different countries even. Uh, there's Twitter or Twitter is a platform for collaborative story writing. Uh, there's an example of that right here uh, with students from around the world. Uh, more than 100 students in six different countries contributed to a story uh, where each of them wrote just a few lines at a time. And people joined uh, from as far away as China. It's a way for you to connect with other educators and engage your students. The next article here has similar concepts, but we'll just go through a, a few of the bullet points here. This one's talking about how this teacher has grown in understanding what differentiation means. And he says, like most practitioners, I've spent too much professional development time sitting in lectures delivered to entire faculties. Twitter makes it easy to post short, uh, public, text-based messages to the web, messages that uh, any interested follower can see and respond to. Teaching professionals have found ways to use uh, and share resources and lend quick support to peers with similar interests. Twitter becomes a constant source of new ideas to explore. Exploring her Twitter post challenged my thinking and led me to great resources without having to spend hours researching. So again, it's a time saver for you that as you're looking for new ideas. This writer also says, I could look inside the minds of motivated peers to learn about new projects that they were undertaking, the research reports they were studying, and the websites they were exploring. It gave them easy access to a stream of customized information and ideas that motivate them. One characteristic of differentiated learning. They also said, I follow only Twitter posters who discuss top topics that I'm eager to learn about and I can skim through posts for about 20 minutes each day. And it says here that they now turn to Twitter friends and help for many of the same ways, or in many of the same ways that they do with teachers nearby. They've also said that they find this as an op understanding, or this provided them as a way to understand how differentiated learning really matters. Their own motivation level skyrocketed, and they took ownership of their own learning. Things that we say all the time about how we want our students to be able to do that, we need to continue to be modeling that as adults and professionals. Also understand Twitter isn't appropriate in all situations. And the digital opportunities to connect with new content and communities can accelerate learning for every student, but only after teachers become efficient digital learners too. And just touching on another article here, they talk about how at one point before social media, things like this weren't possible to connect outside of uh, local or state conferences. Uh, you're not limited anymore to just your own geographical region. They go on to talk about Twitter chats, where it's a, a one-hour conversation around a common theme or hashtag. And think of a, a Twitter chat as a mega mart. There's something for everyone. They talk about sharing, and that as a teacher, you seek to benefit a larger community beyond your classroom. It's mutually beneficial. And they've chatted with novelists about their writing process and ways to make connections with things that they could then take back and bring back to the classroom and share with their students. And they go on to say here that what they like is that other teachers come on with a sense of humility, acknowledging the difficult and complexity of teaching, yet wanting to improve. Uh, and they, they talk about this need to have those talks uh, in the professional dialogue and to share the same joys, feel the same frustrations, and have the same sense of humility. 
And they say it, tra it transforms hope or hurt into hope. Thought that was an interesting kind of connection to what they've done here. In the last article that I'm just going to touch on a few things here, they said that Twitter was a one-stop shop for all their educational needs, exposing to articles, blogs, and quotations that they wouldn't have otherwise found. They also found an elementary chat themselves and it connected people that were all interested in elementary education. And they said that communicating with people from around the world who have similar interests and understands your passions for education can be inspiring. Educators get accused of accepting the status quo of not wanting to move forward. And this is an example, Twitter is a perfect example of where this is proven wrong because there's so many people out there sharing. And they also said here that it's a great way for understanding their connection with those sites will increase the education, the educator's connection with their students. And then they go on to talk a little bit about professional development. And obviously, everything we've already discussed here uh, has been brought up in the ways that professional development now is yours. It's not something that you're waiting for other people to share new ideas. You're going out and exploring those new ideas yourself, which is extremely powerful because then you're looking for the things, again, that interest you and that are going to keep you motivated to continue to grow. I do like to always say anytime I'm talking about Twitter that remember everything you post is public and it is important for you to be careful about what you post and what you put out there on a public forum. The end of this article talks about giving us something to strive for because some of the resources teach us how to live creatively within our parameters. It also helps us to meet the needs of our students. Twitter provides us with the resources that we may never knew it, we may have never known existed. I think that sums up really well why Twitter is important. I don't know if this really motivates you. You can read these articles yourself and get just the same information. But what I want you to take from this is that Twitter is another opportunity for you to learn and grow as a professional. And ultimately, I know as teachers, that is our goal. It's our goal for our students and it's our goal personally. The next video is going to go into Twitter basics and share with you how you can get uh, comfortable with the terminology and the navigation around Twitter online. Uh, we'll cover the mobile app another time, but hopefully you continue to watch this series and it helps you get more comfortable uh, with the, the basics of Twitter and also Twitter chats that there's another video that will follow that one. Thanks and we look forward to seeing you on Twitter.